Now, we see a lot of Afghanistan on our screens. We know the war, we know the security risks, we know the fears for women. But one man is making a film for BBC World News this weekend about his home city of Kabul, in which he aims to show that there is other life lived in the city too that we do not see on our screens. His name is Tahir Kadiri, and he's aiming to show us life as lived in all its spectrum. Here he is experiencing just a little of the local life. <laughs> Ano to bírom? Jo, oh, jenom to víš. Ano to? Jo. Oh. Ok, pěvory. I had a go, but the containers were far too heavy. I lost it just a few meters. <laughs> And uh, Tahir is with me now. Tahir, welcome. Now, well, let's start there. That looked like hard work. It, yeah, it did. <laughs> it was so hard. Um, this is your home city. Mm -hmm. How do you see it represented on the news channels? Mm -hmm. What do you recognize about your home city from the news? Uh, well, I have, been I have been working with media for quite a long, a long time now, when I was only a kid. And then, you know, every time you see the Thursday show, because they just associate the name of Afghanistan with poverty, with fighting, with its three children, and then, you know, the real picture of Afghanistan is not like that. So therefore, I, o I always just wanted to do something different, to show a, a, a different picture. I mean, I, I don't want to really exaggerate, no. but just show the, the ordinary life of people. Well, give me an example. Give me an example of something you saw in Kabul that I won't get from watching the news Well, channel. the whole film, actually. For example, I hang out with my friends. He goes to tennis club. He, for example, takes me to some shopping malls. We are just to get the, 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 the new brands like, you know, you know, like Zara or whatever. So which is really, I mean, you can't believe that people might get You're right. I would never see that on the news channels. But is he representative, your friend? Is he a privileged, middle class, unusual friend? Well, not, not really. I mean, I haven't picked up unusual people in this film. Just I have gone on the streets and I have chosen the people who are actually living their, you know, their, their normal lives. So he's not really unusual. I mean, you could say your film presents a positive view. Does that represent a mood that you you sensed in Kabul? I would suggest that the, the mood of the city must be very troubled. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, a country that has, you know, uh, encountered war for at least three decades, you know, a country which has been completely destroyed. So whatever, any movement now is really positive. So what I have done in my film, I have just gone through the ordinary life of people. I have just, you know, hanged around with people and I have just, you know, gone to their houses to see how they live. So therefore, I, I would believe that, you know, the, this, the picture that I have shown in this film does represent today's Kabul's face, really. Certainly one side of it. And what about your biggest surprise? You've been living in the UK three years only. Here you are back to make a film. What was something that took you by surprise? What really surprised me is that we always hear that people are really nervous about things, but when you get into people, they're quite happy. They are just having completely same life as we do here in England. Security? Did you have well, any problems? Security-wise, I mean... Insecurity is miles and miles away from Kabul. That's mainly in the south. But we did, did you know, face some problems. Like, you know, our camera was once, you know, uh, uh, confiscated because they thought that, you know, because the camera was with our driver and they thought that uh, it might have explosives inside. But no, it was sorted out. So we didn't have any more problems, really. And did you, do you want to move back there, having been there? Would you like to go back? Well, of course I do, yeah. I mean, I love to go and live there and m do more films. I'm planning to do another film soon. Hopefully, just, you know, I want to show, I don't want to show really a colorful picture, an exaggerating picture to the outside world, but just I want to show how people live there. They have lots of problems, I know. There is poverty, people are struggling to work, uh, there is unemployment, but the, 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 the wall, the people are living, they are living, living really peace, peacefully.
Tahir, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, if you're in Kabul, you can watch that program in full at 20 to 8 on Sunday. We'd obviously be very interested to hear your views if you want to lock horns with what you've heard on the program. BBCGlobalMinds.com is the address. So let yourself be heard. We'll broadcast your views to the world this time next week.